Would you like some guidance on forecasting and completing a valuation of your firm? In this video, we will look at how we complete the Key Value Drivers Worksheet in our Excel spreadsheet for our firm. Go to the Key Value Drivers Worksheet in your spreadsheet. Enter in the actual figures in the first four rows for sales growth, profit margin and asset turnover. You can link these to cells in the Ratios Worksheet. You can see I've done this for Ryman Healthcare. Sales growth, profit margin and asset turnover will be the three key value drivers we will forecast to arrive at our valuation. The figure for RINOA, Return on Incremental Net Operating Assets, is only needed for the continuing value and so will only be included in the Continuing Value column, CV. We will look at this later. Everything in this part of the spreadsheet will be automatically calculated within the spreadsheet except for the figure for sales in cell D16. This is a key figure you need to enter in your spreadsheet. Also, do not enter in operating income or net operating assets. These will also be automatically calculated in the spreadsheet. And do not enter in free cash flow, economic profit and return on net operating assets. These will be automatically calculated in your spreadsheet. And you do not need to enter in the free cash flow, economic profit and return on net operating assets in the first column, 2015. You can leave these cells blank. You can see I have now entered the figure for sales in cell D16 and the figures for sales, operating income, net operating assets, free cash flow, economic profit and return on net operating assets are now calculated for Ryman Healthcare. Now that the actual past figures are included, you need to include your forecast for the key value drivers of sales growth, profit margin and asset turnover. Based on our forecasts of our firm's economic and business drivers in our assignment too, we then forecast sales growth, profit margin and asset turnover for five years. I have done this for Ryman Healthcare for the years 2019 to 2023. You also need to enter in a figure for weighted average cost of capital for your firm. You can use 8% unless you have reasons for using a different figure which reasons you can include in your assignment. You also need to enter in a figure for G, which is the growth rate assumed in the continuing value calculation. And you need to include a figure for return on incremental net operating assets, RINOA, in the continuing value column. Once you have completed your key value drivers worksheet, your spreadsheet will now calculate for you your valuations in the valuation worksheet. 